reset that timer. Yeah, that's the problem with this game. Thank you. All right, again in three, two, one, go. All right. I'm gonna make sure that I get this warp. I think we got it. My TV is a little low. But we should be fine. I need more volume. So I have some sound cues, so I'm just asking the tech for some sound. Volume is the left team. Yeah. There you go. That's good. That's good. Thank you. All right. So I hope I got this warp. Otherwise, it's fine. We'll just reset. Reset percentage. No, it's fine. So we need to get this warp in order to get to uh, planet seven, and we didn't get it because I didn't hear anything. So we have to reset, but that's fine. That is a okay. All right. So here we have Solar Jetman, and Solar Jetman, as I said, is a very heavy physics space shooting game and uh, now we got it, now I could hear it. Because you hear like a small explosion and that means I got that warp. But that's alright, let's get the rough things out of the way. Let's not get shot here, thank you. And we're good to go. So that, that warp is really awkward, there's like a couple of frames that you can shoot that thing. And, uh, well, if you miss it, nothing will spawn. And I saw that one coming, so I had to put up my shield there. And another one. So that's just troll bullets. Not much I can do about that, because that one guy was there. Those guys are random. And they can spawn pretty much everywhere. And in this case, he decided to show up at stage 1, which is fine. I'd rather have him show up at stage 1 than at planet 7, where I am right now. And this warp takes us to planet 7. I need to listen to a sound cue here, too, because there's no visual cue. There we go. So in this case, we're actually going to collect all the fuel we need. And this, there's the fuel. And we need all the fuel to actually leave the planet so that we can go to the next stage and eventually beat the game. And we need to collect a golden warship piece, piece uh, from every planet that we play. And I believe there's four fuel pieces we need to collect over here. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going to count to six. That's two, three, four, five, six. There's another guy that should not be there, but he was no problem. So again, no visual cues, so I have to count at some parts. Um, we should be fine. So every planet has its own gravity. And uh, this one right here has pretty heavy gravity. And since we got here with a warp, we do not have any power-ups. And that means that we have to uh, thrust like crazy to not hit the floor, pretty much. We didn't kill that guy, but it should not be a problem. We can still keep on shooting. And if I get like 10 points, I know I killed him, or 5 points. But at least he died. We'll do a small bump here to get our speed back right here. He could shoot me, so I'm gonna pay attention. Okay. Luckily, he acted like a stormtrooper, so he always misses. So as you can see, the game is like, hey, you need more fuel to leave, to leave this planet, so we're gonna collect more fuel, because the game really wants that. And I also wanna leave this planet, because I don't like Planet 7 that much. Those those things right there, those are points. Um, yeah, we don't need points in a speedrun would be cool, but yeah, it's not really needed. So we got that one frame there that gets stuck in the wall. It's really nice. It saves a lot of time. Because normally you have to like fry left and right, left and right to uh, shoot that guy. Here's your fuel canister that will refuel my fuel on the, that you can see on the bottom of the screen. Um, as soon as that depletes, that means I die. Or at least my pot that I am, I'm in right now will explode. And they will just fly around with a little guy. But we don't want to do that just yet. We need that for the, par for the bonus room. Right now, we just want to fly in our pod and collect all the fuel. Because if we are a small guy, we cannot collect the fuel in the first place. So, can we? There we go. Please leave the screen. Thanks. And let's see if we can get this one. No, it's too far. Should, well, no. 
<laughs> so you can push this fuel right through the wall there. Um, it will save a little bit of time. We didn't get it, but that's fine. But we got all the fuel pieces we need, so we need to find the exit, get the Golden War seat piece, and get out of here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This is the trolliest part of this game, so let's see if we can get lucky. And these guys take a lot of shots. They can shoot these green rockets, and those are basically the worst thing that can happen. They can be nice, but they can also be like... Oh god, that's scary. Okay, because of that bullet there, I had to put up my shield, had to release the thrust, and now I have to kill this orange thing you can barely see. Uh, that orange thing will push me backwards every time. So, in order to even get over this edge right here, I need to destroy him or get enough speed, but I had to break there. Because these guys were trolley. But we're fine, there we go. There's an invisible wall there, that's why I bounced on nothing, pretty much. Let's get this fuel. There we go. And we're good to go. I'm just gonna keep on uh, using my shield here because this, this part can be really, really trolley. And uh, I don't wanna die. There we go. Because these guys move everywhere, even out of screen, they're still alive. And they can still shoot out of screen as well. So here we have another green guy we need to destroy. There's going to be multiple green guys in the next room where the Golden Warship piece is. Um, which is basically the Golden Warship piece collect room. I don't, I don't think there's an actual name for it. Um, but yeah, you just there's zero gravity. So every move you make will uh, make sure that you move that way. So we're going to make good use of that and kill them slowly but steady. So that this part is going to be pretty easy. So we're going to turn around, break a little bit, so we move a little bit forward. And now we can just... Oh, we moved a little bit too less. So we're going to be bouncing all over the place, but it's not a big deal. As long as we don't miss a shot, it's going to be just fine. There's only one guy left. Got a little troll there by the green rocket, but it's not a big deal. There we go. All are gone. These bullets will despawn, so we don't have to worry about that. So here's a circus tent. Circus tent will collect, or we'll have a uh, golden warship piece, and we can need to collect a couple of them. So we're gonna put it right there. We're gonna fly under it and uh, push it in the thing. And there we go. And now we'll have to destroy my ship so that I get the small guy, which will make sure that this bonus room, which is coming up. It's going to be a lot easier because I need to collect all the gems in the upcoming bonus room. And what that does is it's going to give me 1,000 extra <coughs> if I collect them all. And I need 3,000 at least to buy all the power-ups I need. And there we go, easy peasy. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go, we got all the all the gems, and that's gonna give us just enough money to buy all the power-ups in either. So that warps us back to the to our ship and we can blast off of this planet. You cannot pick blast off if you did not collect enough fuels, but you can equip your pot. But since we didn't have anything, we had no reason to actually equip anything really. So here we have the Interstellar Marketing Company where we're gonna buy some Titanium Bullet Pack which is very strong. It's gonna make our bullets a lot stronger and we're gonna buy this one twice which is a booster. Now this right here is actually a really fun planet. It has upside down gravity. Uh, the stage is called Shish Kebab which is kinda cool. Um, <laughs> it, it has, as you can see, it has a lot of spikes on it. Um, Casually, it's pretty fun, but well, we're just gonna do this. Hold down the B button, and we get a free war pretty much. And we go to planet 13. And after planet 13, we're gonna go to planet 12. But that's, yeah, that makes no sense, but that's just the way it is. Because this is actually a stage you can only reach with that war. Well, but we're gonna focus with this stage because this is a very scary part that's coming up. I will buy backups, but I just want to make sure that I don't die. There. 
Okay. <laughs> We're fine. Because if that bullet hits me, uh, I will lose all my current power-ups that I just bought. And I need to re-equip everything in the ship, and that's gonna lose a lot of time. That's why that part is really scary, because there will be this basically rip run if you are going for like World Records or whatever. Luckily, all the fuel packs we need are very close. There was one guy who was gonna throw me there, so we're gonna make sure that he doesn't throw us. I don't know where he is. Oh, he despawned. Okay, we're good. Because that guy can shoot like a uh, sort of a spread shot, which shoots four bullets. And as I said, if I had one bullet at this stage, I need to go all the way back to my ship to re-equip my booster. So, pro tip, don't die in this, this game. But as I said, we're gonna buy some backups, some extra boosters to make sure that if it happens, that it's not like to run us over. Because this game, well, it's just a very scary game to run, but it's also really fun. There's a lot of movement precision and, uh, well, it's a really good rare game, a very unique game. Uh, there's actually one Mega Drive or Genesis game. It is also like sort of spaceship kind of thing with gravity. I'm not sure what the name is anymore, but uh, that kind of reminds me of this one. Those balls will push me down. I'm gonna get right here in this corner. Get this guy over here. I'm gonna go this way. If I don't do that correctly, he will squish me and I'm dead. So I'm happy it didn't get squished there. Yep. If I hit the wall without the shield, it's gonna do a lot more damage, so I gotta make sure that I equip my shield when I hit that wall. Because we need all the fuel for this stage. Because it's we're, it's still a long way. But hey, as you saw, we collected all the fuel. So we're just gonna go finish this stage out and go to the Planet 12. Where Planet 12 is the longest stage in this game. It has two routes, two parts, and a lot of fuel, a lot of counting, and just a lot. A, a big, big screen, big screen. Good thing is though, if you play this game casually, if you're ever gonna do that, you get a map, and uh, that will make it a lot easier to see where all the items are. Because there's a lot of items, and they're scattered pretty much everywhere. This titanium bullet pack will just kill these in one hit, where normal bullets will take like, I think, five. And thanks to my uh, my boosters, I'm flying like this. There's nothing going on. But uh, if you, if I don't have boosters over here, I can barely even fly upwards. And this will be a lot harder. So I killed those guys off screen, and I killed th that one guy apparently off screen. Maybe we have another circus tent, and we have another piece of the golden warship. And we're pretty much done with this stage, so we go into, into teleport tent. And we get another bonus room, so let's see if we can get another 10 gems. So the reason that I didn't use uh, the pot for the previous bonus room is because I didn't have any power-ups. And I just moved way too slow to actually get all the gems in the previous one, so I have to kill myself to get that guy. And that guy just moves a little easier. But this... I'm sorry for everybody's eyes, by the way. Because this, this bonus screen is a little worse than the previous one. Yeah, so... If anybody gets some hallucinating effects... Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go back in our ship, blast off. And we're done with this stage already. So that was a pretty good stage. Now we are going to the final planet, and uh, final planet is kind of scary, but it's also kind of easy. We'll see how it goes. First, we're going to buy our backup. And our backup is simply going to be twice this one. This planet right here has the most gravity of all the planets. And it is impossible without those boosters. No deal. Y you can't do it. 
people saw it in their practice room and they know like, okay, I, I can barely move up. It's gonna be like one frame for 10 seconds that I move upwards. So you, so you gotta get those, you gotta get those bosses. I need to take damage eventually, not two blazes though, but that's fine. Because we're gonna do like sort of the same trick to get like uh, our guy out of this pot. To, uh, to get somewhere, but it's not going to be for a bonus room this time. It's just to teleport us back to the ship to do the second part of the stage. But I'll explain when we get there. Let's get this fuel first. Good thing those turrets have bad aim, so we can just easily put this one in here. That's the best music of the game right here. It's not true. The best music is still coming up. Don't worry about that laser. It's gonna be another fuel pot over here. We're gonna kill this guy first. There's another guy up there. Let's see if I. Uh, nice shooting there. It's fine. Another scary part right here. Oh, I'm gonna wait here because this guy. Those guys actually. I need to kill these guys. This is not a good thing. I don't know what the other is, but we're just gonna make sure we don't die. There we go. Because that will insta kill me right there. And those guys need three shots, and there were two of them, so I had to had to wait a little bit to make sure that I don't bump into a laser and uh, die. All right, so we're gonna go underwater. This is actually water. Doesn't look like water that much, but it is. So the uh, gravity turns around as soon as you get in here, and it turns back obviously if you are out of it. You will also see that when this fuel will go up like this, and it's gonna go down again, and now it's gonna go up again. So it's gonna make a nice circle. And uh, actually, the items that you grab will also have a lot, little bit of uh, influence in your movement. So it's gonna be like pulling you down or pushing you left or right. So you gotta adjust really well to go fast. Apparently, we got 420. No? Oh, oh, got 420 points. Dang it, I missed it. Yeah, it's not good enough. Let's lose some points. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to uh, a part where I need to count to 14. I need the crowd to help me with that because I'm gonna only count to 10. So let's uh, so let's get there. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. So there's no visual cues. The background is random. And yeah, you just need to count because you have no idea where you are. But there we go. Exactly where I want it to be. Grab this fuel. And that's very convenient. That's like a rock right there. What do you know? So we have enough fuel right now. Um, but this one is not as easy as the previous ones because you need to go to a maze. And we're gonna kill ourselves, warp back to our ship, equip the pot. There we go. And now we can go to the next part of the stage. And this next part is probably the hardest part <laughs> when it comes to movement in this whole game. So let's see how it goes. I got it away. That's not a big deal. I'm just gonna keep on my sh keep using my shield for now. Not over here. There's one guy pulling me in there, and there's a the blue ball. That blue ball is basically a gravitational force that pulls you in, and the orange ones will push me backwards. So this laser is a could be trolley. I had like a really good run ripped there because I didn't pay attention. I got shot by the laser and it was done. That's why I'm just using this shield for now. Current world record for this game is 2243. Uh, helped by me. And I'm the only runner, so you know, we need some more runners. That was actually K2, a uh, Swedish runner who did this game as well. Uh, he ran the PAL version though, which is a little slower. Uh, but eventually, when you count all the frames back together, my time was a little faster than his old world record, so it's always good. 
So here's the maze part. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna fall down here. That's a pretty big, big maze. And there's only one good exit, so it's, uh, it's pretty hard if you are playing this for the first time. Even though you have your map, it's still pretty confusing. But, uh, you know, I've played this enough to know where to go. I hope. Let's get that shield up, because there's a guy that controls me. That guy right there. But he has bad aim. It's another stormtrooper. He doesn't know how to shoot. He's trying though. Gotta give him credit. So there's another fuel canister that I just shoot shot. You refuel by shooting fuel, fuel canister, which makes does, doesn't make that much sense. But go, can't you go away? Okay. And here's the final part for the Golden Warship. After that, it's gonna be the final stage, and in the final stage, I will 100% not talk because that part is really rough. But we'll see when we get there. First, we're gonna do this. We're gonna kill these things. Thanks to the Titanium Bullet Pack, those things will be destroyed in seconds. If you can shoot them for us. Could you, could you not do that? Did we get it? Okay. Good. It's not a big deal. There's our final circus then. And there's gonna be party over here. So the final stage is gonna be a space shooting part with slippery controls. And every wall that I touch will be an insta-kill. And I will go back to this plan. So let's make sure we don't die. So while you are completing the last level, I'll uh, tell everyone uh, what we are doing here. We are running in support of the Dutch Cancer Society, an amazing charity which aims to prevent and fight cancer and alleviate the suffering of those already battling the disease. 90% of your donations will go directly towards the Dutch Cancer Society, so you know, get your donations in and put them towards those amazing incentives. Uh, next to that, we hold speedrunning and marathons on location, just like these, every single month. So, you know, give us a follow on Twitter to get more information as those happen. Alright, so I can talk again because I just did the hardest part. That one there, that's really small corridor, as I would like to call it, the Selected of Death, is very scary because you have like... I'm not sure how many pixels it is, but it's very small. Uh, the good thing is the back of your ship has no hitbox, um, but the front has a very big, hit big hitbox. So if you just mess up like a little bit, you pr just tap up a little bit. Uh, as I said before, it has slippery controls. You're just gonna hit that wall and you just you just die. You explode. It's gonna say game over. Here's a password. And you go back a planet. And this is the reason why this estimate is this high. Because you would think like, come on, it's only 20 minutes. But yeah, it's gonna cost me another 50 minutes if I would die there. And that is, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna focus here because I don't want to get hit too much. Well, let's hope I get a despawn. With a despawn, I mean the final boss will have five eyes, and the top one can despawn, but I still haven't figured out how.
Time is coming up as soon as the final eye explodes. Time. Whew. So now I can just sit back and relax. And my golden horseshoe. Because <laughs> we did it, we did it. Oh god. So that's a really, really scary run. We got a 25.58. That is not a PB for a marathon, but it's alright. It's, it's still a sub 26, and that was my goal. So pretty happy with that time. We got thrilled at the start. First, we didn't get the warp because I couldn't hear it. Then I uh, got hit like by a million things. Uh, but that's alright. Uh, my marathon PB, my previous one was 24. 34, I think, 24, 34, something like that. But you know, this is a pretty good time. Uh, also, guys, make sure to get your donations in because this is a very good cause. Dutch Cancer Society is awesome, so you know, keep on going. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for one more game. Hope you all enjoyed all the NES games that I did. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get this console some more attention in the Netherlands because everybody plays SNES. What is that console? Come on, man. NES is the way to go. Um, so, thanks again. I'll be back with Solstice, and I hope you enjoy the next run, which is going to be... Spyro the Dragon. One of my... Oh, Year of the Dragon. Excuse me. So that's, that's also actually a title game, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. So stick around. Thanks you so much, and peace out.